What up? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is day 136. 136 of Dave's Daily D. You know, Dave's Daily Discussions. You know me. I'm Dave. I don't have anything off the top of my head that I truly want to discuss in depth. Um, if there's anything that I can at least bring to the table, it is just simply the sheer fact of no matter how good or bad of a day you have, whether you talk to anybody or not, anybody reaches out to you or not, whether you think anybody cares or not, you may feel invisible today, yesterday, whatever the case is, you may feel something that is causing you to feel down or alone or something. And uh, depression is real. Anxiety is real. These these low points that people go through, I mean, they're real. Um, and what I can tell you is to just know that you do matter. You matter, and everything you do matters. If you were not here, there would be a lot of pain, a lot of emotion, and uh, the world would be missing out on a lot. Many of us have a lot to offer, whether we realize it or not. Um, I know that I have a lot to offer, and anytime that I get down or start questioning anything, I start to realize and, and look at myself and realize the integrity, the passion, the core values that I have. Anything. Um, I realize those things and I just, I think to myself, you know, I have a lot to offer. I have a lot that I plan to, you know, I have a lot that I plan to bring and make a difference and make changes and just simply just change the world one day at a time and I have those goals I don't expect to change the world in a day I don't expect to change the world by a certain point I don't expect to make a difference on a, on a large scale by a certain point in time um, I just know that one day at a time I want to put up a video my goal is to try and put them up daily, just like at work. I have goals, daily goals. Um, today I did not technically hit my daily goal, so tomorrow I'm going to try to double up on that goal. Uh, but I don't put out a video every day, but I try to put out videos every day as often as possible. That is why my, I am at day 136, because like the first 60, 70 days, they were consecutive days. Every day I put out one, two, three videos. And that is huge for me. I am not able to work out or go to the gym right now, so that passion has not been there. This is the main passion that I still have that I can participate in with my back the way it is. Um, so I want to make a difference. I want to shine my light. I have, just like the sun provides many things for, for life, for earth, for our ecosystem and whatnot, don't chastise me if I just used some weird terminology that didn't make sense. I'm, I'm pretty sure it did, but anyway. Just like the sun, just like water, air, many things, they provide something. I know that I have passion that some people don't. I know that I am able to put, form sentences with just intellectual words to just I can create true passionate conversation because I have sympathy and empathy and many not many but some of us want to make a difference some of us have the time or the passion or the want or the need to make a difference um I simply just do not see a point in being here if I'm not doing something to to make a positive impact in the time that I'm here. I feel like 
just based off of knowing that the percentage of a chance that we as a person, and this is, I don't know, I don't know the statistic or whatnot, but I know Gary Vaynerchuk talks about it a lot, um, just the, how lucky we are to be here as a person, just the odds that we are born. And I see those odds and I think to myself, like, why waste the opportunity that I am here if I have such passion, if I have su such sympathy, empathy, emotion, if I, if I care about so much and I do nothing with any of that care, with any of that intelligence, with any of that just pure want to do more, and I failed myself and I failed everybody around me. So for me, I want to make a difference. And if I don't, I am going to have major regrets in life. And many of you guys have to figure out what makes you tick, what makes your heart beat, what really allows you to wake up each day, what allows you to put your head down on your pillow and go to sleep. If I didn't care about anybody and I was just a selfish, hateful person, I don't know that I could live a full life. I just, I, I wouldn't want to be that, that's not me. And no, you guys can be whoever you want to be. I just, I know what I believe in and I know who I am. And I know who I truly am. And I refuse to be anything that I'm not. So, honestly, I, I don't want regrets later in life. I want to truly be proud of. I truly want to make a difference. And if for some reason it doesn't get as big as I hope, that's fine. I just, I just truly want to make the attempt. I would rather try and not get as far as I had hoped than not try at all. And, you know, through this journey, I have been making a difference in lives. I, people are watching, so clearly there's some value to the content. So that's, for me, what I love. I love doing this because it just it, it's such fulfillment for me to know that there's people that want to watch these videos when they come out. So for you guys who are watching or who come across this video, you have to ask yourself, what do you want to be doing? What do you love? What is your goal in life? What What do you want out of life? What do you want to present? What do you want to offer um, society and whatnot? I mean, what would you have regrets of later on in life if you didn't do, if you did not pursue. I mean, many of us have dreams. I mean, we have to chase them. We have to go after what we want because at some point you start to really think about, well, what have I done with this time that I'm here? There's so much time left, so don't get down on yourself. There's no time limit for what you need to do, this or that. But my analogy always is with like the gym and whatnot. Sorry, I can't get comfortable here. My back is killing me. Um, some people will tell me, like, they want to go to the gym or whatnot, but they they feel weird or whatnot or something of that nature. And I always tell people, like, and this goes with anything in life, but especially the gym, it doesn't matter if you go in and you can only push up one rep or do one rep of that weight. That one rep is, is more than zero. One is always more than zero. So any time, any effort, any energy that you put towards a goal, put towards what you want moving forward, that is one more than if you would have done nothing today. One more phone call, one more rep, one more of anything, just, just trying to sheer volume of just trying and the biggest thing that we talk about i've been talking about is goals you have to make sure that you have different sets of goals you can't just have a long-term goal and just expect to get there you'll get burnt out and you'll get discouraged and you'll give up 
So I have long-term goals, I have mid-range goals, and I have short-term goals. I have daily goals. My daily goal at work is to try to get two people to allow me to quote them a day. Will I hit that every day? I hope so, but it's not the end of the world if I don't. It's just if I do this many today or every day, then this many can happen. You're setting yourself up for a higher percentage. So one is more than zero. So every bit that you put. So if you don't ever go to the gym, if you don't ever work out, you're not going to get stronger. You're not going to grow the muscle. You're not going to lose weight, whatever the case, whatever your goal is in that. So if you never lift anything, if you just get a gym or let, let me put it into context. Let's say that you have a target weight you want to get down to, or you want a six pack, or you want bigger biceps. You get a gym, a gym membership, but you never go, or you go and you never lift weights, or you go and you never get on the treadmill. You just go there, change, talk, and leave. Or you just you buy the gym membership and you never go. So you're putting zero effort, putting zero towards that goal that you have. You just, hey, I want to lose 10 pounds. Hey, I want a six pack, but I haven't done anything to gain it. I haven't earned it. You're not just going to magically get what you want. It's not just going to fall into your lap. So you have to go and you have to try. You have to do one rep. You have to do five reps. You might only be able to do 10 pounds today, but in a month you might be able to do 20 or 30 pounds because every day that you put effort forward, every day that you put one rep as another rep that you're going to gain over time, every time you do something, you get better at it. Every time you do something, you gain knowledge, you gain experience, you grow you learn and you get even better at it over time. When I first started selling, I am good with on the phones, but I've been learning and learning how to handle these calls so my percentages are getting better. When I started working out in the gym, I was down here on certain weights that I could lift and over time, I'm up here in weights that I could lift. Obviously, I can't lift now, but I just I noticed the growth in my body. I noticed the amount of sheer weight that I could push up consistently more reps of that higher weight when I tried to do one of them reps in the beginning I couldn't do even one rep of that weight so you can't get anywhere if you don't try and move towards it you have to literally try you have to put effort forward so set short-term goals set daily goals a daily goal will lead you to a weekly goal a weekly goal monthly goal daily goals are every day every day excuse me daily goals are every day daily goals get you to your weekly goal daily and weekly goals get you to your monthly goal daily weekly and monthly you're really it just it snowballs into a huge success so think about what you want to be doing and start working towards doing that thing that you love because think about it guys this life i mean we don't have to be here so take advantage of the time that you're here and don't waste it just working to pay bills and die. Really think about what you want to do in the time that you're here. It doesn't matter if you're 15, 30, or 60. There's still plenty of time. Think about what you want to be doing. And if you can't do it full-time right now, start doing it on the side whenever you can. Putting some sort of time into it each day or a couple days a week or a couple hours a week. Whatever you can start with, start somewhere. And it's really going to make life worth living because instead of just living to work, pay bills, and die, you are living to make a difference in what you want to do. So with that being said, this video actually is a lot longer than I expected it to be. I think we got some actual content out of it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Day 136, Dave's Daily D, Dave's Daily Discussions. I'll tune in and see you guys on Wednesday. Hump day. You know me. I'm Dave. Love y'all. Thank you so much.